So the following phase, the, the return phase, you, you've crossed the threshold. You know, the sun has risen on the, the final morning and you put out the, the fire that you have been sitting with in the wilderness for days and you stand in the ashes of your old life contemplating the return. And you step out of those ashes into the east, into the sunrise to begin your journey back to the village. So the return, the return um, bringing back some uh, some sacred elixir, some sacred dance for the people to see, to, to experience, something uh, something you have brought back, some, some more of yourself. Um, you have remembered more of who you are on the mountain and so the return is you're bringing this back to your village and in this return um, your first encounter is is the ceremonial encampment the village that you left when you went out on the mountain the, the ones that have been holding the fire for you back at camp uh, and you encounter them and you in eyes blazing hair matted dirt straight streaked face um, <laughs> wild looking um, they don't recognize you because you are not the one that went out there <laughs> um, so these eyes blazing returns to the village uh, with with uh, inspiration or passion something uh, to be said about what happened out there the encounters with the natural world, with the animals, with the elements. Um, you have a story. And, and so you, you bring this story back to the village. And this story uh, is, is held as sa sacred deer meat, we would call it. Mm. So you bring back this sacred deer meat, this story to the village. And you're welcome back into the village uh, as if they haven't met you before. There's a way of greeting one on this return, uh, honoring that something has changed, something is different. Um, you're fed and nourished. And then later we sit in council uh, with what's called the Elders Council where you have this sacred deer meet, this story. And you sit in council and you share the story of, uh, of that experience. What happened out there? And in the way of stories, uh, we treat stories as living and breathing entities, I call them. They're not simply what happened in the last several days out there. There's, this story is alive. And, and it, embedded in the story is uh, medicine for your life, medicine for the people. What's embedded in the story is your own personal mythology uh, of not only what happened but where you're headed and so you share the story with elders and they, ref they mirror back to you what they hear in the story about the gifts that you carry about the medicine you carry for people about the road ahead about uh, ways that you can navigate that road ahead based on what's in the story maybe even the challenges you will face on this road ahead. They'll be evident in the story. So the return is the, the, the bringing back of this sacred deer meat, this story to the village um, and beginning to, beginning to move toward what we call the giveaway. Mm 